Right, so I've got that all taped up and cut out now. Um, like I said, it don't matter if you get it perfect, especially around this hair, I didn't really care because I've got to sort that out anyway. But some of these bits I don't think are completely perfect, but it's cool because after I can just go around and just neaten them up a little bit at the end. And I'm um, going to move on to the background now. I don't know if you can see that, but you probably can't in the sun. But it's got some buildings in the background, some clouds. There's a few helicopters about. I'm just going to do one of them though. I'll probably just change it a little bit as well, to be honest. When you're doing a picture for yourself, it don't matter if you change little bits here and there. Like even with the Hulk, some of the details, I just made them up. Like the veins and stuff, I just stuck them where I wanted and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter unless obviously you're painting it for someone who's paying and they want an exact copy. But um, yeah, I'll just make some bits up as I go along anyway sometimes. But um, so the main colours of the background are like these bluey sort of colours. Um, again, you could just change the background completely if you wanted, but just be creative. But I'm just going to sort of stick with this just to make it easier for myself. And um, so I'm just going to get the main colour, which is like this mid shade of blue. And then I'm just going to flood the background with that and then we'll start putting the details on after. Right, so I put in the main colours of the background, just like I did when I done Hulk. Um, this is like the light that the helicopter's giving off, alright? But if you wanted to, if you weren't too confident doing straight lines, you could just stick two bits of tape there and just spray and then take the tape off and then just spray a little bit on the edges just to make it look more light and not so sharp. But for the buildings, because they're quite a sharp edge, again, if you're not confident, just stick a bit of tape down there, paint the building in and then take it off after. So, I'm not going to use it because it's literally the smallest bit ever and I can do a straight line. So in the picture that I've got, the building actually don't go all the way up here, but I'm just changing it a little bit. Just to what I think would look better. So I've put in where the buildings are going to be and there's some little tiny windows in them. Now you can either use a stencil cap for that or you can tape it or you can just literally just stick a few little dots and stuff where the windows are going to be. Because that was quite close, it's gone on pretty thick. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry a little bit before I cut it off because otherwise you get too much paint build up and then it will start dripping everywhere and looking horrible. So I'm just going to wait a sec for that. Right, so I've waited for them little window bits to dry. I'm just going to go through now and cut them off and then I'm going to stick this stencil cap onto the darker can and I'm going to paint in the little helicopter there. Right, so that's the background all finished up and the buildings, little windows and that and I stuck that little helicopter on there there was a few more like I said but I haven't done them I've just done the light that would have been coming from them like as if they're above here somewhere or something but now I'm going to peel the tape off and see what it looks like underneath um, like I said I don't think I've got it right but we'll see what it's like and we'll put it right and I know the hair is definitely going to look a bit dodgy because I never finished that in the first place so we'll do that and finish this piece up
Right, so as you can see, it looks pretty cool. But there's a few bits that I didn't cut off right, but that's no problem. I can just get this background color and go up and just go around and neaten little bits up like this, finish the hair off and that. But it's no big problem. There's nothing major that you can't sort out after. So don't worry if it don't look perfect straight away. Also, when, when you use the tape, like I said, you get a nice crisp edge, but sometimes it just looks a bit too crisp. So you want to just make it look more natural and fit in with the background. So I'm going to get it the highlight color and just go around and soften these some of these edges. Okay, so I'm not going to film that part, but I'll show you it after I'm done. Right, so that is him finished now. I went through and done the hair with the stencil cap, all them little details and that. Went through with some transparent black and stuck some extra shadows in and stuff. Um, really happy with that outcome actually. Took me about eight or nine hours to paint, which is why I can't film this in real time you know what i mean an eight nine hour video it'd take about two days to upload but um yeah i hope you guys like it i hope you like this video um if you'd like me to do more real time stuff in the future then let us know but um yeah i was just showing you the steps in this video you know so hope you enjoyed the video make sure you click like let us know what you think of it in the comments and um if you want to learn anything any more tutorials you want me to do anything you want to learn how to paint then make sure you let us know in the comments too and also the stencil cap that I used for this was this one basically you spray through here the paint goes down here gets caught in this bottle here and then you, this turns into a paint marker as well it's called the 210 stencil cap if you want to buy it then I'm gonna leave some details in the description of this video because it's now being sold in the UK so I'll put the website in there for the UK and then if you're from anywhere outside the UK I'll put a different link for you to buy it from there but this is what you can achieve with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.